All right, thieves smashed into a nonprofit, grabbing all the electronics they could get their hands on. Mitch Weber saw the mess for himself. He's live at the Kansas City Police Department. Krista, this, this is a setback for this nonprofit that assists women who are caught up in uh, sex trafficking. The first staff member in today knew as they got to this smashed front door. Do you, what about this door? Yeah, this was a glass. Christy Childs planned to use President's Day to get ahead on work. Her tower was taken. So Instead, she's behind after spending the day figuring out what all burglars took from her nonprofit, Veronica's Voice. That is the, the core to the battery. Oh, so they did take the battery part. You're right. They determined burglars got away with about $5,000 worth of electronics, including a camera, three laptops, three computer towers with some attachments. We had two flat screen monitors here and then the towers down here. The computers were password protected, and even though they were connected to confidential client information, it's all safe on the cloud system. So from home, I was already... Um, changing passwords. Information their clients rely on them to keep confidential. For the last 13 years, Veronica's voice has been a place for women trying to get out of prostitution. Try to get them connected to any other community resources that may be to their benefit. They know their mission is bigger than material things. We're warriors. We persevere. We just keep pushing through it. Police believe the burglars got in sometime between 8 last night and 8 this morning. If you have any information that can help police catch the burglars, you are asked to call the TIPS hotline, that number 474-TIPS. Live in Kansas City, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.